All right, so here we go. Let's walk back through uh, <laughs> pre-volatility week and Canadian dollar, and we'll go through the foreign exchange currencies. Okay. Now, yeah, you're exactly right. They have no idea. Um, all roses up until the what? Uh, somebody said the other day, seven months north and 19 days to give it all back, July 19th to current. Let's take a look at the swing highs. Canadian dollar right here presses to new structure highs. And then on the 120-minute time frame, we pull back into a higher low. Okay, DST traders, we posted the aggressive sell. Swing high down to that low, outside return. Okay, so the short entry right there was 0670 with stops above 10706, number rounding strategy above the swing highs. Short entry right there. Initial target, ABCD or 127. Okay, so I'm going to take the A to B leg, copy, paste, drop it in right here. Okay, so again, these always produce fantastic risk profiles. Let's identify the impulse move. And now let's pull in the Fibonacci retracement. Okay, and I'll keep you updated on the uh, indexes. Russell Traders, favorable excursion sell stops down into... 51.60, aggressive. S&P traders, opportunity to trail stops into 92.60, aggressive, two points from the target. Okay, so now on the replay right here, I also want to look at an extension. Again, i got to find my point of ratio confluence. So I'm going to run the extension right here. Okay, so again, we noted the 105 buys right here where the 1618 extension meets the 786 retracement or the 618 retracement. Okay. Now, this right here is a small bid zone. Again, anytime we look at this type of an impulse move right here as far as the size, look at this. Let's just call it 103 to 107. Okay, So it's 385, 400 pips on that initial press. Right here, we talked about partial bids at the 105.7, okay, plus three to four pips right there, whatever your bid-ask spread is. So as the market rolls over right here, you see this swing high right there goes to 106.96, does not take out the swing high that set the signal up and does not take out the stops, obviously. As the market pulls down into the 0580s, pulling your stops down behind that price action. Those of you on the sell side, use stop and reverse at the bid zone. So right here, if the market moves down into this price point, then you're going to use a stop and reverse. Stop out of your current short take profits, and reverse to a long position. The long position here, two contracts with the initial target, the 618 retracement. Right here, the market pulls down into swing lows, 0506. Opportunity to get long right there. Now let's take this FIB and let's pull it down. Let's take the swing high where the aggressive sell reversal occurred. Pull this down into the current swing lows. Initial targets at 106.25. Okay. Okay, right there's the point of entry. Market rallies back into the resistance and holds. Pulls back down to the point of entry, holds. Goes against the position, doesn't hit stops, and then right there is where the scalping contract target is hit. Okay, so again, for round numbers, let's just use 106 versus 0620. I'm sorry, 105 entry, 10620, so there's plus 120. Now, stops that were down here below the swing lows trail up to below. Here's the new structure high, look left, there's the swing low. Stops come into 104.45s. Then we took the X to A leg, dropped it in right here, and looked for an extended move at around 108.30s. Market just made a new structure high. We got the higher high and the higher close. And again, see how the market pulled back against the position right here. Respecting structure allowed you to stay in that trade. Now, right here, this high right here gives us a higher high, higher close. Look left, takes out that swing high. Look left, where's your swing low? Right there's your structure. There's the structure stop. 
and then we go parabolic. And this is where we discussed trailing stops behind the 382 retracement of that measured move. So let's come in here and run the retracement. Swing low to that new structure high. Pull in the 382 retracement. And you'll see the 382 there, 106.77s. 106.74, number rounded strategy below that. Still have room to run there to go attain that target. And right there it pops into and attains the target. So again, from a 105, 108.30s, about 300 pips. So 400 to 450 pips per unit, $4,500 uh, on full position. Okay, So Canadian dollar now has attained the target flat. Now let's go in. And you see here we pulled back into a 382 retracement. Let me go adjust this guy. Canada's rolled over, so now here's the start of a new pattern. Okay, we're definitely in a bid zone right here. Now, I want to take this out to the daily, and yesterday we looked at the daily pattern completion as well. Okay, so if we get a pullback on the buy, then we'll be looking at the daily short entries. On the daily, we see a 127 extension that held the move here. Then we've got retrace, extend, and now where would a one-to-one -one ratio terminate? You see we just hit AB equals CD, and you see that we've had a pretty significant pullback. Swing high to that low. AB equals CD terminated at the 618 retracement. Okay, do we have a ratio or ratio confluence here? Again, see this? Drops right in the center. So it's going to be a 1414. Anytime I see that extension right here, and it falls on either side of the retracement, I can find ration confluence by grabbing the 1414, which is its inversion is 1707. Or I'm sorry, 707. So again, there's AB equals CD, 10852s. Now so far on the daily pattern, that one's hit, pulled back. We have not attained the targets yet. So if you'll take a look at the swing low to that new high, you see we haven't come back down into the 106.22 area. We have pulled back down on this one daily candle. 108.60, you see 106.70s. Okay, so 200 pips almost straight south price rejection there on the daily pattern completion. Okay, so this is no longer a valid signal as we're approaching that initial target. Okay, I want to copy and paste the B to C leg. Could find that again right here. You see again. Now let's just walk three drives to a top. Okay. So right here, 109.90s for the next short entry opportunity. Market makes an impulse move followed by the retracement. Then we see one-to-one -one measured move into a new high followed by one-to-one -one measured move on the way back. Followed by potential three drives to a top. One, two, three three drives to a top into the 786 retracement. Now, let's run one more FIB extension off of the current leg. We're going to take the extension from this swing low to that impulse high, pull it back down, and again, you'll note ration confluence. This time it's a 127 extension at the 786 retracement. Stops have to go above the swing highs. Okay, so potential three drives to a top, 109.80s to 90s for the short entry. And again, we'll continue to update that. 